Alrighty, hello everybody, this is Green, and I'm bringing you the next gun in my series. This one's the Commando, uh, ran with just the silencer on it, so, yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure what my perks are, I didn't catch it, but see that guy trying to chill down there with the <laughs> C4, but wasn't going to fall for that bright red light sitting out in the open. <laughs> anyway, so we've taken C and B, so just kind of hang around B and use my line of sights down all the sides of the map and see who I can see. Um, don't, it's not really a bright idea to go out beyond those barriers to see all the way down the center of the map. And that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fun. I love it when that happens. Game decides the teams are not balanced, so they just decide to kill one of you and put you on the other team. It's a lot of fun. But, uh, anyway, I started getting shot from behind, so I'm like, uh, shoot the guy coming from behind. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Shoot the guy coming from behind me. And, uh, yeah, sure enough, he came over the wall and I shot him, so wasn't too hard. <laughs> Uh, anyways, this is a nice little spot right here to come around because you've got a nice, uh, you can see the whole ramp and, uh, usually they like, oh, I'm using scavenger. Uh, they will, the enemies will, uh, come down on that ramp and sometimes get clustered, so it can usually bring you a pretty good, uh, maybe a montage moment if you're into that kind of thing. Um, I've been considering whether or not to try and collect some clips and make a montage, but, uh, I don't know, I'm not a huge montage person, and uh, honestly the only way for me to be satisfied with a montage would be to add some crazy editing, and I'm not an editor. I don't know too much about editing videos, but you know, I'll probably give it, give it a try and see how it goes. Uh, won't be the best, but should have some pretty nifty clips. Uh, I can get some... I usually don't have any trouble getting some nifty uh, tomahawk or ballistic knife clips. Um, it's just you don't want to pay too much attention to my score in those. Yeah, I was like, crap. Sorry about that. Uh, it's just what happens. It's a load of fun here on Black Ops. Laggiest uh, Call of Duty I've ever played. Um, I might surprise some of you who played like Modern Warfare 2 or I hear World, World at War was pretty laggy too but it, a lot of the people that I hear talk about lag are uh, console gamers and they're not really talking about lag, they're talking about latencies and connection. I know that that is in turn lag but you know that, that doesn't really translate on the computer. We have, uh, I guess our ping is the equivalent of the latency but uh, as I've said before my ping is always really really low but I still get huge lag spikes all the time so Ping doesn't mean anything on your computer. <laughs> um, anyway, I was trying to get out of there, but that Johnny XX came charging around the corner with his AK-47, so was not able to get away. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna come over here because I uh, noticed they took B. And I want to get B back because B is my favorite flag on launch. Um, I have noticed that I've gotten a lot of these gameplays on launch, and I'm not really sure. Uh, why particularly that is. Mainly it's just, you know, the map comes up and I just happen to get a good game on it. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like launch because of how big it is, and I'm actually not a huge fan because of its size. But, uh, you know, I don't, you know, really dislike it. So, yeah. If y'all noticed that one time earlier when I dropped down toward the B flag and there's that guy there and I tried to knife him, but I supposedly hit the wall instead. That that happens to me so much, knifing. So, I mean, it, I guess it's a good thing because it kind of forces me to get uh, a lot more kills with the gun instead of, you know, going around knifing like a noob. Uh, but then again, it doesn't make trying to be a, uh, trying to run around with a ballistic knife and tomahawk very fun because I can never get those knives because that's what happens all, all the time. I mean, Honestly, now, in the past couple, in the past week, 
I've started noticing that my ballistic knife or tomahawk will literally just go right through them and not kill them while they shoot me. And you can even watch the kill cam, you see my ballistic knife fire and go straight through their stomach while they're shooting me and nothing happens. So, uh, interesting, interesting, but um, you know, I can still get some pretty decent clips so I might try to do a little montage like that. Just, I really wish I could get some uh, multi-kill sniper shots. Uh, for a montage. I mean, I've got, uh, I can get, you know, like a, a four-piece or something like that pretty simply, but getting them all in one shot is the what I re would really like to have in a montage. Um, to be honest, not to say I'm going to pass up the four-pieces. <laughs> Those are decent clips, too, so. Ugh, don't like grenades. Such a huge kill radius if you're not using flak jacket. But then again, once you do have flak jacket on, it's like you can't get killed with grenades. Unless you just get b bombarded by like four. But uh, Speaking of uh, perks, since I finished this series and I've prestiged, uh, I know it's taking me a little bit longer to get all these up all these videos uploaded than it is for me to you know continue playing and I play a lot more than I upload. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, on this next prestige level, I'm, I'm rank 9 prestige, I think, now, and I'm already at 42. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I've just leveled a lot faster because uh, I've been trying to get the pro perks on every perk. Um, at this point, I have... Uh, I just need to get two more resupply grenade kills from to get Scavenger Pro, and then the only uh, perk that I wouldn't have Pro for the first rank would be uh, Hardline, just because I don't really plan on ever really using the Hardline Pro, uh, so I don't really like the care package. But um, and then the second one, second. Here, the only pro or the only perk I don't have pro in is uh, Scout. I just haven't gotten around to trying to use it yet, just because I'm already in the 40s. So I don't really feel like I should worry about trying to get pro on a perk that I haven't even bought yet. But then again, on third tier, I, the only pro perk I have is freaking pro tack mask, and that took me until today. I got it today, and I'm level 42 now. So, it took me forever to get those, and I, I don't really know why. I mean, honestly, I feel it wasn't, um, it wasn't really counting my kills all the time. Like, I'd throw a flash or Nova or something, and I'd get a few hit marker, or a hit marker with it, and, uh, I'd come around the corner and kill a person that was there, and it wouldn't count. So, it's like, especially for the Nova gas, it's like you have to kill them while they are directly in your Nova gas. They can't still be affected by it and away from the cloud, because then it doesn't count. And, like, flash and stun grenades, like, the second that they are no longer flashed or stunned, it doesn't count. Which makes sense, but, you know, for me it's annoying, because it, it always seems whenever I flash or stun somebody, it only lasts, like, 10 seconds, whereas when I get flashed or stunned, I, it lasts for 30 seconds at least. And, uh... <laughs> that was an interesting kill cam. I watched that. You didn't really see it, but <laughs> right as I rounded that corner, that RCXC ran right into my feet, <laughs> and so it, it was weird to me because you know, playing, I was pressing forward and I was trying to go around that corner, and then suddenly my forward momentum just stops, and I can't see why because I'm not looking down. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. But uh, let me think. Uh. My combat record is, uh, I feel it's doing better. I've managed to push the FAMAS down to, like, my fourth gun with the uh, top kills. I think now I've got the... Uh, I should take that back. I think it's still the third. No, it's it's the fourth now because I've got the MP5K as my first, and then L96 is my second, and I've pushed my AUG up above the FAMAS, so my AUG is uh, third. And the FAMAS is fourth. Um, I'm not sure what other gun I'm going to try to push above the FAMAS yet. I kind of like doing... I probably want to do the AK-47. But then again, I might do the Commando, because 
this gun has like no recoil at all. And I can't tell you how many times I've been instantly killed with this gun. And when I say instantly killed, I don't mean somebody came around a corner and aimed and shot me and I feel I died really fast. I mean somebody shooting at a window or something and I happen to run past this window in the split second that I run past the window I'm instantly dead <laughs> and then yet whenever I try to use these guns it takes at least four four shots to kill anybody I say that as I pretty much get an instant kill on that guy uh, so I mean really it's not just it really just isn't all the time this is there's a lot of instances where I'll, I'll get three hit markers but he's like hopping around or something and I just it just doesn't get the kill Oh, don't you love these lag spikes? <clears throat> Alright, so there it was. That was the end of this game. Uh, pretty much for the commando, I meant to mention this earlier, but I recommend using the iron sights. There's no point in trying to use a, any other type of sight because it's just... The iron sights are so precise and easy to use. There's really no point. But anyways, yeah, there we go. 42 and 15 with 2 caps and 4 defends. So... Yeah. Anyway, that was my commando video, and uh, I'll be bringing you the next one pretty soon. So, anyway, this is Green. I'll catch you guys next time.